good morning to all of you it gives me a great pleasure to address this uh, session on emerging business opportunities startup and innovative projects i am very happy to have in our midst mr dharmendra pratap yadav who is the secretary to government of uh, corporate corporate and handlooms textile and candy crafts and government of tamil nadu and mr selvam who represents as a managing director of leather promotion council government of india and mr rajaram from singapore and mr thomas from the united states first of all i want to thank mr sambath for having chosen me to head this session because it's uh, today the main topic in, around the world is startup and many of you may or may not know what is startup startup is to establish a business how do you establish a business you establish with an idea and a vision if you look at microsoft or tesla or any other thing facebook anything that you think of including dell computer apple computer all these things were started somewhere in the garage somewhere in the classroom somewhere in the remote room how did they do they had a vision they came up with a, a concept but many of us we do not know the concept per se doesn't translate into a product it has to go through a process there are many hiccups there are constraints both financial and organizational constraints that's why when you have a creative mind and innovative spirit you need to overcome many of the obstacles for growth and obstacle for implementing your vision and if you look at it today the world has changed before when you start your business it takes a long time you advertise in the newspaper and advertise in local and advertise by word of mouth etc it took long time to reach the world and your product may die in the beginning itself because of the lack of marketing and branding today my dear friends if you look at it branding and marketing have become vital for starting any company and instantaneously we have opportunities like uh, for example it may be email or it may be social media or digital marketing etc but when we innovate a new product the product per se as i mentioned to you will not be enough we must immediately get into the marketing of the product how do we reach out the target population we have to choose the right population otherwise it will fail and we have to go through the kind of media which media to choose that's also very important and if we do that i think the success of the startup will be there but above all to start a company the constraints are more but once you overcome the constraint and particularly in the modern context you know how did this uh, tesla became now it's a star of the stock market in the world how did he get the idea when we were all thinking about electric uh, motors and all that electric uh, car <laughs> he put it together the idea and if you look at uh, dell computer that uh, gentleman he was a dropout of ba economics he just uh, he did not have money and he wanted to earn some money and so he started taking the old computer and started repairing them and give it to the people and the idea came then he knew how to do it among the students then from there it came the dell computer 
Likewise, I can, you are all familiar with all the stories of how the people have started and how they ended up being the successful innovators and entrepreneurs in the world. You know, gone are the days when you can just start a company and go through the whole process. But today, instantaneously, you can reach the world and you can be successful. Anyway, we, I can go on talking that my role here is to tell you how important it is to encourage vision, encourage ideas, and help those people who like to innovate, who are having vision for coming up with new ideas and new products. Particularly, it's appropriate, Mr. Yadav and Mr. Selvam, they are all very competent people. They are all actually in the field. They can really throw a lot of uh, highlights on how these things will translate into practical life. Because even if you take the handloom, I just saw the handloom. What a great product, superior product. But why that superior product is not known widely? How can we market it? How can we brand it? The branding and marketing are not, are somewhat conspicuous in, its, in their absence because of the constraints. But on the other hand, if you take private uh, entrepreneurs, they know how to market it. So there is a great divide between the public and private. And I think uh, my suggestion is the, when we have, when the public sector is involved in producing products, they must give complete autonomy and independence to behave like a individual, a, a, as a private Indian entrepreneur. Then only the product can be, however superior it is, it will be sold, it will be marketed, and it will be consumed, and it will be appreciated by people, and successful entrepreneurship will be established. The same thing about leather. Leather products, in those days, when I went to America in 1967, whenever I went there, they used to ask me to bring a purse. <laughs> And from here to here, Tamil Nadu. Then whenever I go, I, I buy about 20 or 30 purse. At that time, the product was only confined to purse and small handbags. But today, look at the variety of products. The kind of uh, leather that is being exported to all around the world. We have become pioneer. And of course, the Leather Council, in collaboration with the uh, the entrepreneurs have really done a tremendous job. They earn foreign exchange to our country. And this uh, exchange, uh, this, uh, it's one of the leading exchange earners. And particularly the area that we see in the northern uh, uh, India, Th Tamil Nadu, like uh, Vellur and Vaniambadi and other places, they really specialize. I visited about 30 years ago, one of my friends took me a leather factory in Vaniambadi. And recently I went to another factory. What a tremendous change. It's a technology transfer. The worldwide, that a kind of technology adoption, absorption by us is unbelievable. So today we are very proud to say that we can compete with anybody in the world in the leather product and its superior quality. But however, this is my small observation, why the fashion houses in Paris, they take a small product and they made it very big. But here we have superior product, we have not been able to make it big. We don't conduct some visible fashion shows. And the Paris fashion shows every year is the attraction of the world. But why we have not a similar uh, show be not being conducted on an international scale? National scale, we do conduct. In fact, we were privileged to host many of the fashion shows for leather product here. However, we have to think international, we have to think global, and generally 
we have to also adopt the global marketing techniques and methods then only our products the quality of the product will be known to the world and thereby it will increase our global reach in terms of both visibility and also foreign exchange earnings and success of the product with these words i would like to have the pleasure of inviting mr yadav to have his presentation thank you very much